athletes and spectators from every part of Australia converged on the little town at the gateway to the Grampians to celebrate the 50th year of the world-famous foot race. Brass bands marching up and down Main Street, which were suitably decorated with flags, added to the carnival atmosphere of the big event. And according to reports of the day, the little township was fairly bursting with excitement. The venue for the Stall Athletic Club's great meeting was, and still is, Central Park. Outside the main gates, on Golden Jubilee year, the Brunswick City Band performed concert pieces and demonstrated its marching ability to keep the crowds entertained prior to the start of the track and field events. At nearby Victoria Lake, family groups unpacked picnic lunches or sat fashionably in their latest model cars, listening to the music and watching the spectators arrive. Another indication of the enormous amount of interest the running of the 50th store gift created was the number of special trains needed to transport over 15,000 people from Melbourne and the country centres en route just prior to the running of the gift. Included in the group are President Mr G.T. Robertson and Vice Presidents J.A. Larkin and I.H. Short. All the committeemen were undoubtedly proud of the fact that in the club's 50-year history so much had been achieved. The stall gift had become Australia's greatest foot race and prize money had grown from a total of £100 for the entire meeting in 1878 to £1,300 and many valuable silver and gold trophies in the Jubilee year. Spectators enjoyed a very busy program of events over the two-day Jubilee Carnival which had attracted 1,500 entries from 560 individual runners. A special 75-yard old-timers race was staged, recalling the old men's race from the original meeting in 1878. It was won in eight and a half seconds by a Mr C. Green. However, the 1878 first prize of a live pig was replaced by a purse of 12 pounds. Also on the program, the Federation handicap over a distance of one mile, with a first prize of 65 pounds and silver trophies to the value of five guineas, donated by the club president, Mr G.T. Robertson. A big field of runners had entered the event, which was very keenly contested, the lead changing a number of times prior to the final lap. But it was J.W. Wooten, starting off 92 yards, who raced to the lead in the home straight and broke the tape one yard ahead of W. Kimber, who had started off 78 yards. Time for the event was 4 minutes 7 seconds, and Wooten received his silver trophies from President Robertson and a place in the Golden Jubilee history of the 1927 Stall Gift. Stall Jubilee Easter Gift 1927 and a crowd of 30,000 people packed Central Park for the 50th anniversary of the famous race. One of the proudest spectators at the meeting must have been Mr J.G. Taylor, seen here on the right, who was a founding member of the Stall Athletic Club in 1878 and had seen the gift grow from a small town running event to the most highly respected foot race in Australia. Races leading up to the Jubilee gift included the handicap hurdle over 130 yards with 10 hurdles three feet high. It was won easily by SJ Dillon off five yards in 15 and three quarters seconds. A large number of entries were received for the Grampian Stakes over two miles, won easily by Harry Redden off 90 yards in nine minutes, 29 seconds. Tension mounted in the crowd as the semi-finals of the gift were contested. ABC Radio 3LO was ready to broadcast the historic occasion and the five finalists who qualified were L. Stevens of South Yarra off seven and a half yards, T.J. Miles of Bundaberg, Queensland off ten yards, T.S. O'Connor of Yarram off eleven yards, T. Dunn of Kerrang off eleven and a quarter yards and A. Walk of Netherby off eleven and a half yards. The starter's gun fired and the five men sprang from their blocks. Although Walk showed out early, Dunn O'Connor soon took command with Miles placed well. About 30 yards from the judging machine, Miles put in a thrilling dash and broke the tape a foot in front of Dunn with Stevens inches away third. The time, 12 and 1 fifth seconds. Jubilee Committee President Mr G.T. Robertson decorated Miles with the sporting glove sash and badge. The special gold medal was presented by Mr W. Earl and Mr H. Hill of Melbourne presented the silver cup he had donated. Miles also received £250 cash for his win. He was later filmed with the winner of the original 1878 gift, Mr W. J. Millard, then 72 years old. But both men shared the most coveted sprint title in Australia, winner of the stall Easter gift.